Well, what type of work do you look for? Um, I guess it has to do with the whole... There's this gap between how we consume Hollywood movies and how we consume independent movies. And, and the, the fact that, you know, when I was, I was coming out of college and I was thinking about what sort of movies people got to see and that people in, you know, small towns and remote places didn't get to see movies. Um, it seemed like really important to me to try to find some way to get these, these kind of works out. Um, and the punk community, which is sort of very dear to me, I thought was the best way to go because um, there already is this network of people who do mail order zines and mail order records and you know, there is this sort of established um, underground commerce network. So the work I'm looking for initially is work that in some loose or personal way fits into punk. Um, but for me that ranges from, you know, this puppet love story between Eleanor Roosevelt and Amelia Earhart to this more traditional like punk rock, train hopping, kind of activist documentary. Um, in general, I guess, the, along with the whole project, the work you look for is work that maybe blends the world of artistic, underground cinema um, with that sort of DIY punk ethos. Um, you know, I like activist work a lot. Uh, anything that's kind of pushing the boundaries like that. I'll be there. Well, like, right, sir, uh, you, you were in a program in cool. Columbia as well. The Go uh, Yeah. Is, is that kind of group that, like um, did that goes, grow out of the dis out of like distro or did like the distro kind of grow out of the It kind of grew up separately. Yeah, um, I started the distro in 96. Um, and then in 1997, I was approached by um, someone I didn't even really know in Columbia. The only theater that showed. <laughs> movies had just closed in town and there was just no source for them. So we started this film series and with that, that film series we run much more mainstream type stuff um, I mean, in terms of like what I distribute. Um, we show like we showed like happiness, we showed the celebration, um, but stuff that otherwise wouldn't come and that for whatever reason, you know, the subject matter is very challenging or whatever. Um, so with that series it's much more about just getting movies that people can recognize a little bit or that sort of border the indie underground um, world out to an audience. Um, this is much more underground, if you like. I'm much more interested in short work and, and work that's really just not seen anywhere. It's like it's capacitive, when in fact... I thought it was capacitive. I totally did. Well, it's made to look like a disc capacitor. Like, you see these brown discs? It, the, old, the old one looked kind of like a Coors beer can. It was like a long silvery canister type thing. What's the advantage of making it look like a capacitor? Well, they, wa they wanted to discourage people. Like, like when they switched them over, there was just like word, like everyone's like, oh no, they don't work anymore. Really, <laughs> really stupid. Um, but I was not fooled. Do not be fooled by yes. imitation. So you want to be very careful and pry this up because they glue it down. So they know what you're up to. They see you are bad. It's almost like they're marking off what to like pull up. Like, mm. is anything else glued down? No. Mm. So if it's glued down, pull it up. It's not glued down. Anything that's not glued down, leave. Take it. Okay. So, um, it's pretty easy to just um. Wiggle. Yeah, to just wiggle it and it cracks off. Make sure you do not crack these off. You can also take a, a pair of um, take a pair of wire snips and just clip it right down there at the bottom. Now, these are very very close together. It's a very very stupid way of building this. If, but well, not stupid for them. They don't want us to open it. But why else would they make these damn things? Who the hell would want to get one of these? Yeah, what are, what they, are they theoretically for? They are theoretically for remembering 33 different member, uh, 33 different numbers on this one, one single unit. Just really, the name are just, just small. Like, so it's supposed to be easier than carrying around a scrap of paper in your yeah. wallet. Yeah. Or a phone with speed dial. Yeah, it's it's totally for like gadgety kids, you know. Like, I don't know, there's some guy who work who works at Kinko's, like that, where where I he has like this like. It's almost like a lasso covered with like gadgets and stuff that he has and walks around jingling and he's worse than me. Guy.
<laughs> okay. The next thing you do. Flux. Take the flux. May the flux be with you. Oh, where do you get the flux? Do you get flux? flux at, oh, can somebody grab my camera? Over there. Do you get flux? Okay. Hardware. Um, you get flux from a hardware store. You get it from a lot. It's, it's on actually. Okay. Can you use regular solder? Yeah, you can you, you use. Show me the shoe, Scott. You want to? What's that? Yeah, sure. Yes. Um, you want to use uh, electrical solder because there's there's solder that you can get for plumbing. It's totally different stuff. You, you want to get um, electrical rosin core solder if you're going to be if you're going to need to do any extra solder. Now this is what it looks like. It's like okay. Yeah, you got the little iron and you melt it. Yeah, the soldering iron, which is actually over there. And it's wait, uh, don't step on that because you don't want to get burned. Okay. This is warming up a little bit, but over here, hopefully, it will be warm in a moment. Um, can you hold this? You're very welcome. Okay. Next thing you do is you take the tape and you get a hunk off. You want to cover this because it's going to be going into a different part of the a different part of the. Um, the back. The, the back. What are you covering? I'm covering the piezo. Oh, okay. okay. You want to kind of secure this somewhere else, like uh, let's see, right over here. It, it doesn't really matter where where you do it. It just just as long as you get it out of the way of where the crystal is going to be. But we'll figure that out in a moment when we, after we after we fixed the dialer from being broken. It was broken and its original purpose. You want to take one leg, you, well you want to bend the legs so that it looks like a little like spider leg. <laughs> and just poke it into the into the flux. So it's just a little, little bit. Now, we're going to come over to the soldering iron. Hey, here, can we move the table, push the table over this way? <laughs> Stand back, everybody. And uh, speak yeah. quick. Hand me the snatch pop off jigger stick. We take out the old heart <laughs> and put in the new leg. But instead of one heart, we'll give him two. It's alive! <laughs> one heart, two heart. Red heart, blue heart. Okay. You put it directly on the surface. You rub a little tiny drop of this flux off on these, and you want to make sure that you do not connect the two connect the two piles of flux. Otherwise, your I mean piles of your flux. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of solder. So you're getting very close. Whoever whoever can't see, they want to get And make sure you, you don't breathe this in because this is lead gas. It's coming up. It's not very nice. And and it, if it gets in your eyes too. <laughs> You're very bad. You must be spanked. Okay. We'll video that later. <laughs> now you put it directly on the surface and um Daddy, please. Please. Yes, please. Everybody get up from the table a little bit. Doctor is operating. Steady, sure hand. Operation. <laughs> Number one is done. Does it have to be attached to that metal stuff there? Yeah. Now, test. We've got to close this thing back up. Note, we've made room right over here for the for the crystal to go in by peeling this this yuckiness away. And we want to figure out where we're going to put this. So I think we should put it over here. 
but others can put it other places. Oh, did I get flux on my paper? Ugh. It melted away my eyeballs. Yeah, it's really gross. Okay, do you have those batteries? These take three AAA batteries. I'm going to close it back up from the side without the uh, stuff. Make sure you don't pinch anything. This is like delicate shit. They make these things really, really crappy. If they're made in China. They are made in China. This is the button that's key. This is the star button. This has been altered to the 2600 megahertz tone. I don't know if anyone's ever seen 2600 zine. No. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hacker and Freak or Quarterly. Well, that, that's the tone that, <laughs> that um, the phone uses to activate credit on, on, uh, for bell phones. So what you'd want to do is you want to program in first set, which is you do it by memory. One, two, three, four, five stars, which is a quarter, and eight. One, two, three, four, five stars, and eight, which is the spacer. Two, three, four, five, spacer. One, two, three, four, five, spacer. One, two, three, four, five, spacer. You do that five times. And then memory again, P1. <coughs> and it's set for a dollar twenty-five speed dial. Okay. Some phones won't allow you to do that. So be very careful. Like some phones will like pick it up right away in different places, like they're more sensitive. Then memory, one, two, three, four, five, that's a um, that's a quarter. Memory, P2. There's a quarter right there. Memory, star memory, P1. Yeah. Congratulate the new father. The what? The, you do five, five, five stars, and then an eight. Five stars, eight. Five stars, eight. Oh, the, the yeah, but before that, memory. Memory, memory five stars, eight. And you do that five times. Yeah. Um, if anybody wants to get like. I, I wish I had a photocopier around here. I totally forgot to copy this. But I have the in instructions on the sheet. And if anybody doesn't want to... What's that? What's a nickel again? Nickel is um, one star. Okay. And it has to be in store mode while you're doing that. And then and then you put it into dial mode. Yeah. Don't use that. If anyone wants to copy it from this. How do you use it? And is never it use it. You don't ever use this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Don't like, use it. Yeah, no one's going to use it. Ever. But what <laughs> theoretically could it do? What could it do? Oh. <laughs> it could, could conceivably, I've been told, make free phone calls. Like, how pray tell? It could. Because what it does, what, what it possibly does, is um, it activates the, it activates the, uh, the frequency. Uh, what well, is the free? It, it generates the frequency on an, ag on an ag analog signal of the coins dropping into the phone. 
So what you do is you dial 1 plus the area code and phone number that you want to get on the pay phone. And it'll tell you how much to deposit. And then you deposit the proper amount using the, the, using the toy. Yeah, using the noises directly into the phone. Now if the operator comes on and they say, why don't you deposit real money? Or is that real money you're putting in? You can say, no, I'm putting chicken in. <laughs> That's the chicken slot. <laughs> and then they say, huh, you're very funny. You think, oh, you think you're going to get away with this. No, I know I'm going to get away with this. <laughs> and then you hang up on him. Or you can prank him. <laughs> so does this work, like on most pay phones? This works on, I would say, on on Bell brand phones, or GTE brand phones. Um, it doesn't work on like the crappy little Cocots and stuff like that. The, like, the Cocots are like the, the uh, like, you know, like, bud tail, or chicken tail, or <laughs> mustache tail, or you know, whatever, like, you see, you know. So, have they caught on to this yet? Oh, they know, they've known about it. Actually, this, this um, was started in 19, 1969 by a guy who goes by the handle of Captain Crunch. Uh, they somehow I don't know how he figured this out, but the the they were they the whistle the whistles and I was the, like the whistle cereals. and Captain Crunch yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. It, it yeah. produced a 20 because it was two whistles together, like creating two simultaneous tones. It created a 2600 megahertz tone. So this guy would go around the country just whistling into the phone like do 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 do. And, um, I have one of those yeah. whistles. Do you? Captain Crunch whistle from 1969? Really? <laughs> 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 very lucky, you man. Still your whistle. <laughs> yeah, it's this, God. <laughs> well, that's the story. Right. It's like somebody so recorded the, the tone. Will The phone is making it. Maybe that's another way of doing this. Yeah, like board games. Now there are more ways of doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if if anybody doesn't want to be as like doesn't want to fiddle around with soldering irons, um, you might want to take some notes. Is this the way to what do about this? The crystals? Yeah, five bucks. Yeah, they're cheap. Okay. Um, okay. Um, does anyone want to know some other ways of being able to make some free phone calls? Yeah. Are you going to talk about boxes? What? Like brown boxes? Yeah, gray boxes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, um, I'm actually going to tell you a couple other ways of like getting the, of making your own dialer. Um, one, I'll do it. Is that you call you call the payphone next to you? Like let's say you get two payphones, right? And you call the one next to you. Ring, 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 and you pick it up. Now in your other hand, you have a, one of those voices. You know what a voice it recorder is? Like you know those memos where you'd say, pick up groceries and kids at three. You know type of thing. You record that into this. That actually records on a digital signal, which, which. Um, isn't going to degrade, like on the or at least in the better quality, better quality ones. They have really good chips that you can record. You can record for up to 20 seconds, um, you know, whatever information, and like store them in the different banks. This is actually a better method than the dialer because this doesn't actually generate the right se firing sequence for for the for the quarter because it goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Whereas the real quarters, when you put in the quarters on the phones, it goes like, you know, it's just like totally, totally fast. Do you like that sound? I feel like I'm playing Star Wars again. Like. Well, the nickel tone would probably be, would work okay then. What's the nickel tone if you just did a lot of those? The nickel tones work, right. But, you know, who the hell wants to sit around for, you know, putting in 85 nickels? You know, it's like, you know, 20 nickels for each dollar. Um, so. What you do is you call one phone with the other, and you put this up to the up to the earpiece, you know, the recorder. Start recording, and put in a quarter, and then the and and then you know put in as many quarters as you want to get the tones. So you have those recorded quarter tones, and you can come back and just you know try it out on the next payphone next to you. Does you that like make you sense? Play the quarter tones you play the quarter tones. So like here, let me let me draw this for you for the more visual. Yeah, you so would this work with any digital recorder? This will work with digital recorders. And if anybody has the second integrity CD, 
there's a hidden track at the end with the, with the, uh, with the dialer tones on it. <laughs> there's several different CDs that have the tones. So it's like the, the 13th track on the second integrity CD. Uh, I don't remember. But it's the one after uh, the first one. <laughs> it's the first victory one. On the end of it. Um, okay. uh, so you've got phone A. Oh, this is so phone A. Okay. And phone B. So. This is me, right? Very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> this is me, I've got, I've got the receiver right here. Now, I'm going to take my other hand, my great artwork, and take a quarter, and I'm going to... I'm going to call the other phone over here. So then this one's going to go, bring. There, more ends. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to pick this one up with my other hand. Yeah, my third hand. You're detached. I'm Vishnu. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to pick that one up. Now I'm going to come over here with my fourth hand, with my little recorder, the voice it. And I'm going to drop another quarter into here so that the sound's going to come out of the earpiece. And it's going to say 25 cents, right? So I'm going to record that into that, right? So now I have this recorder. And I, I'm going to come back to this one, or to whatever phone it is, and dial 1 plus the area code and phone number, and I'll have these recorded quarter tones. Why can't you just hold the voice thing up to this? Yeah, um, because it silences it um, and it screws up the tones. How are you going to you call B by putting in money? Yeah, you call B. Yeah. Yeah, by putting in the money. And then you put in more quarters. You just make a local call. <coughs> or make, you know, 35 cents, I guess, in this Then case. you, like, call long distance on B? What's that? You call long distance on B? Or you just put in lots of You call quarters? one, no, no, you just put in as many quarters as you want, or you call it in until you get the right quarter tone. All you need is that one quarter, and there you go. And the thing is, if you get the operator the next time, you can put in those quarter tones, and they won't know the better. They won't say that's fake. With those, they can tell, because they'll be like, it's not spaced out enough. We're too smart for you. You say, ooh, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone have any other questions about this? Could be a change return. What? Could be a change return. No, no, no. Who wants the quarters back? No. Um, now there's another method for now if if there's a company that you don't like very much, which there are probably many. Access codes. What's that? Yeah. You're talking about. Okay, I have another two. It's right over. Did you know how to get it open? No, we should. Just kidding.